Hi, right, welcome back to Synopica Knot. This is the standard version, not the extreme version. This is version 3.1, and it's excellent. Uh, I will be putting up at some point a, uh, another extreme. But at the moment, I'm feeling slightly under the weather, so it might be a little while before I get round to it. Um, come on. That's oh, it. God, this has just got two ranges. No, I'm just going up to the uh, the two things. I'm going up to the garage to pick that uh, fertilizer up. And then we're actually going to buy a field. It will mean having to take a 200,000 plus loan, about 250,000 loan. But we can do it. That's that field seven, the last field. I'm going to put the uh, beacons on. The last field this side of the river alright what am I going to talk about today well, I, I'm going to just generally talk about my history in game playing and computers not very exciting but uh, it will pass the time as I uh, try and crash into everything Oh, in 1981, age 31, I decided to get my first computer. The ZX Sinclair had just been, uh, or ZX81 Sinclair had just been released or just been announced. I, I ordered one and I bought one. And that started me up on this idiotic ho uh, hobby of game playing. And spending lots and lots of money on computers. That was followed by a Spectrum 248K and 128K. Oh, I wonder if oh, that's still not done. No, I'm not certain we're close enough. Yes, we are close enough. We'll just pick that up and uh, put that in there. And if we've got enough, which we haven't and I don't think there's any more inside there, it doesn't look like it no, right in that case we go back to the farm and fill this up fully then I shall fill the bank up and get the banker's draft for however much it is I need for field 7 I'm not altogether certain offhand how much yeah, I went through a whole lot of spectrums. Excellent little machine for its day. It was that or a... Uh, was it? Commodore C64, I think was the uh, Commodore for, uh, one. Or the uh, Acorns. And the BBC had just come out, which was made by Acorn, but uh, uh, quite a bit more sophisticated. They had some excellent games in those days. Jet Set Willy was quite a fun platform game. Which I huh, enjoyed. There was uh, Jetpack. Oh, that really was a f an <laughs> very excellent game. I enjoyed that no end. Um, let's just come round. Yeah, I've got to break off as I go just to uh, <laughs> so I can remember where I'm going. No, I can't remember which is which. I think this is the liquid one. <sighs> Let's just find out. I'm getting close, and if I don't fill, we know it. <clears throat> it may not be close enough, but I'm fairly certain that's the. Yeah, that's the liquid one. <laughs> I'm going to come out of a cab to get in close. Mm. And that's of course that's not going to take that kind of different stuff. Let's have a check that this has actually got some in. Liquid fertilizer, yeah, that's cool, absolutely. 
but it doesn't look like this wants to load from here so we might just have to try again later well all this came out of there so it shouldn't be the case that I use the other stuff in there let's put the uh, F1 up let's see if we can No, oh, that doesn't. Hmm. Come out of cab again, so what we're we getting stuck on when we're going backwards. Oh, I see. <laughs> doesn't want to fill it looks strange it must probably different uh, triggers and right in that case then we're going to get this round to the where we've we're facing the wrong way <laughs> this should be fun All right, let's take this up to field seven, and we will have a quick spray. Of it. We'll buy that and have a quick spray of it. That should give us enough fields and to actually start to make real money, rather than fake money. We don't want fake money. Unless that's the uh, chocolate coins you used to get. Oh. That depends how much of a chocoholic you are, of course. Right, yes, I got to the uh, Spectrum. Um, I wonder how many people have bought a computer, especially back in those days, just to play one game. Yeah, I did. There was a game called, called Dungeon Master. You don't ask me who that's by. Is that just a flip screen game? Uh, but I bought the Atari ST to just to play that. I think it's only out on the ST and the Amiga. So I bought the ST. I, I, I tended to buy the the lesser known of the uh, choices, and I played that to death. I really did. Um, late at night was fun because they used a floppy drive, a disk drive. You know. Someone had programmed in that every so often the drive would start up for no reason whatsoever, which would make you think as you're playing that, that something was going to happen next time you moved to the next screen. Not good for your uh, nerves, I tell you. Right, let's see how much we've got to find to. Boy, I hope they have got enough. <laughs> if not, it's going to be a bit embarrassing. I know there's no fertiliser all on this and it hasn't been ploughed over, so that's going to be ploughed next time. And we will <laughs> try and fertilise it up this time as, as well as we can. That's why I'm using the liquid. There's a Boo, this is the one with the, uh, all the fan. No, this one isn't the fancy one, is it? This one hasn't got the, uh, overflow or, or overlap on it. I can't play this one probably. Oh dear. Right, let's just put the brake on. Let's see how much we want. Uh, it's, uh, ah, ah. 537 and we have so if we get five uh, we borrow 250 borrow another 250 yeah I never have any money 
which has a quicker way of doing this. But I think we get all this back before we before we're done. That should do it to go back. No, I could of course do the some of the missions to get a bit cheaper, but I just cannot be bothered. I thought I think about the new arm when I think about the uh, uh having the overlap you know where it overlaps up one spray but well, we take it side to side I think it's gonna be easiest we hope right let's see what we've got here I'll come out of cab to do that's gonna be a lot easier. Yeah, so I had a Atari. That's where I learned well, I actually learned a bit plan about on computers and finding out how to fix things on the uh, Sinclairs. But the Atari was the first one I'd done a major update on inside the machine. And I changed that from a five twenty to a uh, I think it's a ten forty spec. That's basically all it was was the, the amount of memory on there. No, this is in the days where a lot of memory was considered to be uh, five, 400 odd uh, kilobytes of RAM. Well, you started at 520 and went up to 1040 with the uh, fix. Right, let's have a look at where. We'll do what we can with this, we may not do a too good a job. Well, we'll do our best. The you know, Atari went for a long time until I, I got the feeling I wanted. A PC you know, was suddenly becoming the in thing. Because remember in the early days too, I was used to using c -Log ships which is the uh, Z80 with the most famous in the Sinclairs and there was a, another small company I don't know whatever it became of them. you might have heard of them Intel it was made I think something called the 6502 chip and incidentally all subsequent Intel stuff is based on the original architecture of that it's just been upgraded and re-jigged every couple of three years so I went to a, a PC the first time I think on an Intel because the Atari if I remember right used the Z-Log chip used the 8080 I think if I, remember, I could be wrong there it's talking about a lot of years ago now And it was getting that time now to go on the internet. Now the internet. Now you no, don't know you're born. When I started we had uh, I think it was I think I started with a fourteen four hundred uh modem. This was dial up. They went up to twenty eight eight and I think there was one above that. But they were slow. I got into playing uh, online games at that time. Uh, Half Life, Half Life One. This is not the Half Life Two. The original Half Life. There was quite a strong online community. My problem was that I was okay if I against other people dial up, but if you hit somebody who didn't have a straightforward dial up, you were dead. By the time you'd got yourself in position, pressed your trigger to uh, fire your weapon, they'd move behind you and were stabbing you in the back. That's my excuse anyway for being so bad at it. So from, from that, I, I had a, a then went up to 
200, uh, a P200 chipped machine. My original was a P75. No, there's a choice of three chips at the time. I think the P50, I think, the P90 and the P75. The worst one was the P75, which I found out afterwards. <laughs> the P50 was actually better than the 75 for sheer speed and uh, be able to do the work. Oh, sorry, I went up to, that no, wasn't a 2 out, the 233, a P233, which was the last of the standard Pentium range. And this, just say, this was 233 kilohertz, not gigahertz or megahertz, kilohertz. This was, just think about it, this was slow. Oh, I actually had, in there, I actually had a proper graphics card, my first proper graphics card I'd had. I think I had, no, tell a lie, I had one in the uh, P75, I had a 500 uh, kilobyte graphics card in there. Not that it made too much difference. It was just a bad machine. But the 233 was quite good at low as time went on. It was being overtaken by the modern stuff. AMD had come onto the scene about now. And they brought out a series of chips which were direct drop in replacements for the Intels. And you just had to put a, I think a little patch into your operating system to tell it you had an AMD clocked a bit of a bit well, about double the speed of the Intel which is in there and I bought one, it's a four hundred. AMD 400, my first time I used AMD, not the last. Now, about this time, I think it might have been the next machine, which we got word that uh, broadband was coming to this, uh, my hometown. Now, at the time I was no, I don't really want to swear, but I will do. I, I was Discarly, or as they like to be known, Tiscally. I call them Discarly. Possibly the worst ISP in the world at the time. They really were awful. I didn't start with them, I started with a small one. This is on dial up, I started with a small one, which ran our own servers and uh, didn't piggyback on the back of the BT one which meant you didn't have the cut off on it on BT systems every I think it's every two hours you were automatically thrown or cut off so people could use the phone it was an automated system well didn't have that with the first ISP I used we did when they were taken over by Discarly uh, but, Discarly didn't tell us. Oh dear me, no they wouldn't. They kept swearing blind that things were as they always been. Everybody who used Discarly knew them well. The number of times I got banned from their forums. I think what we did, we'll fill this up with... The, no, I bet not. I'll, that makes it look like actually do all this first use all this up so we can fill it up I hope yes as I say Discarly uh, small blind things were all as they always had been mm. well when broadband came to this there was a list of OSPs who were taking it on who were doing it BT uh, don't think Tiscarly were. Mind you, if they'd been, I wouldn't have touched them with a barge pull up. But uh, they were also one of the ones which, legally, they, if you asked for your Mac code, they should have gave it to you. But the number of people had to take them to court to get it out of them. I mean, without the Mac code, you couldn't change ISPs. It's all so much better now. Anyway, I looked at this list and I thought, I don't know these. I don't really know any about these uh, things. They were sort of odd names, plus net and uh, such like. And, uh, 
Eclipse and one or two others. So, well, the only one I'm going to do is I'll just finish this right off. If I'll take the one at the bottom of the list. And I'm glad I did. I ended up with a company, a, a small company, still independent, still fiercely independent, called Zen Internet dot UK. Yeah, and I've been with them ever since because I can't find anything to complain about. Right, it's done. Let me just fold this up. We've got a little to go here. I'll fill this up again. Now, what I was, uh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm coming down, you know. Right, I'm coming down now, you know. Must keep pressing the wrong button and uh, stop it from uh, folding up. I'll just wait for it to fold. Yeah, I was, whilst I was waiting for the broadband to be in, I signed all the forms, paid the price to. Uh, then who went out of their way to help um, and I always found them very helpful and, all, and also which is even better their call centres ain't abroad they're in Rochdale and Manchester if I remember right and they use trained staff oh it's such a pleasure talking to them even though they do talk in strange accents, your Mancunian uh, and Lancastrian accents. Uh. But they have been, they have been the company which kept me going there, as I said, we're probably there, we were a um, broadband site, and I think that's called Think. Think broadband and I don't know if you think they changed the name though. No. I'm still a member of it and I get a reminder every month to put my latest figures in for my broadband connection because they, they have the members rate each supplier come on come on shuffle up come on Anyway, I got talked to, or chatting on the forums, one or two people, and it seems that like games came up. And not only games came up, but from one or two of the other, because it was a multi ISP site, and they were talking to some of the other people. I don't go in like that. No. I hope I can fill this up now. I might well fill up from here. Right this way. No. Hmm. That's that is strange. Yeah, I know I need to fill the two. Now I had this problem on one or two other things where it will not fill. Now I wonder if that's this trigger on here. Where is the trigger? Well, it's a nice big trigger, so we can't be hitting it. If you've got the console unlocked, by the way, this is the uh, developer tools which tells you what's going on. That isn't going to, is it? Right. In that case, I'm going to cheat some money in. I want to get rid of that. Uh, I won't take money that way. I'm going to cheat money in. I want to just uh, I'm going to sell that off. I'll have it. I'm not going to mess about with that anymore. We will get the in-game one. I just wonder, as I hadn't used it for a little while, I just wonder something to change. Oh, can we fill that? Before we do, let's just try one other thing first. Now where is the... I 
but what about a fill from the uh, the tank? If I've got any in this tank, of course. Yes, it will. A fill from here. Oh, that's all right. Well, it says it will. No, perhaps I haven't got any in the tank. That would be uh, Sod's Law, wouldn't it? You know, you start with one little job and you end up with half a dozen. I think that's what we've got today. Well, we really must take that and wash that. Oh, it's that? It's empty. Yeah, it's empty. Well, looks like it. Right, we go and pick up this. Right, yes, where were we? Oh yeah, we got to And I think Eclipse and one other, and I can't remember the other one, the other ISP name, they were known as gaming ISPs. Everything on their ISP was sort of out for really fast downloads and low latency. Well, for us, for us, the day anyway. Whereas Zen was known as a business. Um, one which was known for reliability. Now I was with Zen. I'd already decided to go there. And we got challenged. And about this time I got the broadband up and I was enjoying it. Oh, what speed you may well ask. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, shall I? It was 512 kilobytes per second. Yes, that's it. 512. You can keep your... Uh, um, 30 megabits per second or whatever else you've got. Oh, uh, anybody could have that. Not many offers could have 512. There was... Um, Two packages, one was for a full megabit, uh, kilobit, sorry. Uh, no, full megabit, and one was for the half megabit. I, oh, great. Got that one in the way. But over time, then, oh, uh, upgraded. I think I bought one upgrade from them. The next time they upgraded for three, and then fiber came to town. But no, what I was going to say about was there was one particular game we were challenged to team matches on by both of these ISPs. Remember these ISPs? Come on. Why aren't you going on there? Oh, the miles are, that's why. <laughs> I need to come up there again. Something is so just holding this. Uh, what are we are? Uh, once we're against this. Ah, God, I know. Oh, it's full. Oh, great. I think this is going to be one of those. Because I put this in there tight now, I may well have. I'm just gonna move that one out of the way. Right. Now what we hit. Told you I wasn't feeling 100%. I'm just gonna finish this field off. If it kills me, I'm still off a mind to actually dump this Marriott and get the uh, New Ireland in game one.
No, let's grab this. Yeah, we got. No, it's the game we were challenged to was a free game called uh, Enemy Territory. No, I played that. Oh boy, did I play that a lot. The refill sprayer, it says. Ah, we got it this time. It's got to be in dead the right place. It's one of those awful ones that needs to be dead right. Yeah, anyway. We got challenged. So, us guys who were with Sen or going with Zen got a little team together. Just volunteers. You know, I'd never played a game like that before in my life. I'd played some, say, Half Life 1 online, but never seriously. And this was serious. This was for the uh, honour of our ISP. Oh, no, can you imagine anything more serious than that? Not real why again. Oh, we got a server. We we got everything set up. We had plenty of practices. Oh, boy, did we practice! Wow, we spent hours on that month leading up to the, the matches. Then the other ISPs didn't show. Well, we thought, well, we've got through all this. We're not going to go for all, through all this for nothing. Why don't we set our own team up? Just play for fun, which is what we did. We played enemy territory, I think, for about two, three years. We've joined the uh, clan based ladders for both UK and Europe. We were never much good. Uh, we did our, our fights. We had uh, one time all our best players decided they want to play only with the best players and against the best players and didn't want anything to do with us. So they went off and uh, set their own little team up. That, our main team outlasted their offshoot by quite a considerable distance and they most often came back to us. We didn't hold it against them. What should we? We worked too on the system of uh, Muggins' turn. Right, you played last week, so you can't play this. We played about twice a week, practiced about two or three times. I said we never any good. I actually pity the poor people who were trying to teach us how to play the better players. I was awful. I had a, quite a reputation of being a team kill specialist. I remember one on one map. We were going quite well actually. <laughs> no, let's, let's be fair, we were going very well. We were on to a win on the map. Now there's a ammunition dump right next to the opposition first spawn point, forward spawn point. Right, well, I got above that on a ledge and was busy. There was me rocket launcher, me handheld rocket launcher, ready to sh to let rip anything and everything I saw. So I did. I saw a couple of our players go into the ammunition, but I also saw a couple of our players go in. Too late, but then I already pressed the button. And there is a slight delay between the, you press the button on the rocket launcher and it firing, which would be correct, it won't fire instantly. Well, instead of uh, doing what I should have done, which is move the... Oh, where are we going there? Going the wrong way, you uh, Instead of... Moving the target or targeting bit away from uh, this room, I kept it there. Well, they got two kills and two team kills, and we lost the map. Yeah, happy days. Oh, I wonder if anybody else here has ever ever played enemy territory. It was very popular in its day. It was based on Return to Castle Wolfenstein by ID Software. It's made by a, a load of modders who 
subsequently went into the industry uh, full time but their splash damage it was an excellent little you could have 3v3, 1 versus 1, 6 feet 6 I think up to about 10 feet 10 but most of the team uh, events were played uh, 6 3 6 or 3 3 versus 3 Anyway, with that I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, we've got a little bit done, and I've been rattling on non-stop for over half an hour, and I bored you all silly, and if you hear any sneezing in the background, it's one of our cats, Toby, who tends to sneeze a lot, mm. poor boy. I wonder if I can get this back in here. Should really use the mirrors, but uh, there I'm hoping there's nothing behind me. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Let's go get another look. Oh right, yes, um yes. Uh, right, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like. If you're not a subscriber and uh, I think I've tapped a picture of my damage over there. If you're not subscribed and wish to see more of this mayhem, feel free to subscribe. Yeah, this will do. I don't take the pretty pretty very often. Uh, any comments, questions, queries, or, or anything else like that, feel free to post them. I answer every. I read everyone. I try to answer everyone. There may become a time when I don't. At the moment, I'm slightly, as I say, I'm slightly under the weather, but hopefully I haven't sounded too much, too much like that. And I think it's, that's it. So with that, it's uh, me and saying cheerio for now. Cheerio, let's put this back. Just... I'll put it in there. Oh, cuz. Hey, you see me mess about. I keep forgetting this box. We're using the gear st stick for everything. I'm just gonna get this back in place so I can. That I do. Bingo. Alright. Oh, it's man saying cheerio for now, cheerio.